Hey guys, what's going on? This is Drive Forward. Remember, you can accelerate, you can slow down, but always move forward. Drive forward, guys. Um, so today, I want to do a comparison on two $50 watches. And uh, we're going to do $50 watches because not everybody has a, a big income these days and uh, can afford to buy a watch for two or three hundred dollars even a hundred dollars sometimes when you have bills and things of that nature but um before we get into this video i want to show you what i have on wrist and on my wrist i have my seiko 5 hoke and uh i bought this a couple weeks ago and uh i've been wearing it uh every weekend since i don't wear it on weekdays just because of my job i don't want to uh carve the whole watch up I don't mind getting like minor scratches and stuff, but um, I work around a lot of stainless steel and stuff. And I just don't want any huge marks on it. Um, so guys, yeah, um, the watches here, like I said, they're both $50 watches. And uh, we're going to break down some of the pros and cons and uh, just some of the comparison. Maybe not so much pros and cons. So we'll start with the first one. The first one is this right here. And this one here is a, a steel dive. And uh, you can find this one on AliExpress. And uh, $50. Awesome price for this watch. This is an automatic movement. Um, sapphire crystal. Um, let's look at the other stuff here. As you can see, it has uh, the milled clasp. And uh, has the, the steel dive logo on there. And uh, I think it's really classy watch. It does have the Cyclops eye. I'm not the biggest fan of Cyclops eyes. But for $50, this is a really good watch. Let's listen to the ratchet on the bezel. And uh, this is awesome also. Listen to this, guys. Sorry, I have my gloves on, so it does make it a little tricky. I think the ratcheting on it is awesome. And this watch here is... $50. It has outstanding loom on the watch when you charge it up and it, you can see it at night. It's just a nice watch. Um, and I understand some people don't like the branding and stuff. I don't think Steel Dive, the name is that bad. Don't mind the logo. So there's some AliExpress watches that I like and I swear by and some that I don't like. Steel Dive, I do like and I can deal with. I like this watch. But uh, if you want something with a little more history and uh, a proven watch through the times, a proven brand through the times, $50 watch that you can't go wrong with and it's highly respected is this Casio Dora right here. And this is my Smurf. As you can see, I put it on the stainless steel bracelet. And uh, I also picked this one up on AliExpress. And as you can see, the bracelet has the Casio logo. And the Marlin on there. And uh, I think it looks so, so nice on that. Looks really good. And makes the Smurf look really cool. I like the watch. I like the look. And uh, this is a trick, guys. If you have quartz watches. And you see the watch is not... See my watch is not ticking. It's not because the watch is broken. I pull the crown out when I'm not using it. So I... Uh, make the longevity of the battery last longer so i will show you guys that it does work we're going to push the crown in and uh there you go you see the the watch ticking away and this is my way of um making the watch battery last longer because some people keep their uh, watches in a box and then it's in there three or four months and you have it in a box three or four months running doesn't make any sense you're killing your battery so if you have quartz watches, do that to your quartz watches, guys. Just pull the crown and save yourself some money in the long run and save your, your battery on your watch. So you have it when you need it. Now open up your box one day and your battery's dead after uh, a year and you didn't use it six months out of that year. But yeah, as you guys can see, I love this blue dial. And um, $50, this, unlike the steel dive, does not have sapphire crystal. This is a mineral crystal in here. And uh, the bezel, it does move. It's decent. Not as good as uh, the steel dive. But it does work. As you move it, 
moves right along, like I said. So it's decent enough. Um, but like I said, the ratcheting is not as good as the steel dive. Um, and they're two, two good watches. So you guys can, like I said, you have options even at the $50 point. This watch right here punches way above its price weight at 50 bucks. And uh, you could dress this up. But um, on the other hand, the Duro also can, you can dress this up for anything, especially on this bracelet. This one does come with uh, the rubber bracelet, the Casio. And I took it off that. I didn't really care too much for that uh, rubber bracelet. And I put it on this, and I think it looks so much better with this one. But the steel dive, like I said, uh, it's a toss-up. I like wearing them both. And uh, I'm going to keep both in the in the collection. But I wanted to show you guys that um, you don't have to spend too much money. Or for $100, if that's all you have, you can get both these watches. And then you can pay like $10 for this band on AliExpress for the Duro. And uh, they also have uh, sapphire glass for the Duro if you want to invest in that. Or they actually have like a sticker also that goes over the, the Duro to prevent scratches. Because uh, the Sapphire is like $20, so if you don't want to spend that much, they have some stickers that are like 3 or 4 bucks, and they go on the Duro, and uh, it'll prevent the scratching. But uh, I think the Duro is meant for you to, you know, to use, and I think getting scratches makes the watch a little more endearing and makes it a little more yours, just as long as those scratches aren't like huge, long scrapes and stuff but if they're like little nicks that's what watches are made for and with uh time that's what your watch is going to look like and it just reminds you of everything you've been through with your watches so watches can be very personal with people and uh some people love certain watches regardless of the brand and uh th these are some of my watches that i love the most i have a little more history with the duro that's why I like the Duro more, but I think uh, the Steel Dive is still, it just has better specs in my book than the Duro. But I still like the Duro more, just because, like I said, I put a little more of my own work into it, putting the bracelet on it, and I've had it a little longer. So I have a little more history with the Duro, so it holds a soft spot for me in my watch collecting journey. But I do like the, the steel dive, and with time, it'll it'll go on a journey with me also. And as you can see, I have my watch box here. This is only one of my watch boxes. I have a few other watches there, and I'll, I'll probably show you a couple of uh, budget watches in a upcoming video. But for now, it's just these two. And like I said, these are $50 a piece. You can get this one on 50 on Amazon, and there's a bunch of other places. Uh, for the steel dive, go to AliExpress. If you go on AliExpress, just look up steel dive watches. You look for the steel dive 1953. And they have this in this color, which is, I call it the Oreo. Some people, you know, call, call it the Panda. I like to give it a little bit different name. I call it the Oreo, like the Oreo cookie. Uh, but, um, yeah, they also have it in blue. They have a bunch of different colors, so if you don't like the black and white, there's other colors. So yeah, guys, this is my video. I just wanted to tap in with you guys for a little bit. Um, we're up over 900 subscribers. We appreciate everyone. And uh, please uh, check out my Instagram and my TikTok at the bottom of the screen here. And uh, go on to the Instagram and the TikTok and you know look at uh, some of our content there. We appreciate you guys. And remember, you can speed up, you can slow down, but keep driving forward.